I'm at the yard right now and I'm gonna check a line that's leaking that goes to the air compressor. See if I can take it off and go get a new one made. And check it out, here's my air compressor. And I have a line down here that's leaking. There it is, I'm sure y'all can see it from there. This one right here. So I'll be removing this one. All right, so it came loose pretty quick. Didn't really struggle a lot. So here it is. And now I just gotta remove the other end. Alright, so check it out. Here's the, the hose. And it was leaking a lot of oil. So I'll go get this one made new. Alright, so now that the hose was off, looking at the fittings where the hose goes in, I think I'm going to change those two. And let me show you something I'm doing right here. I already loosened it up. But I already loosened the one down here up. But it was very hard to come off. So what I was doing, I just had my, my key there. And then... I went and got this bar. I would just put it right there under the key and push up. And that's the way I loosened it up. So now it comes off pretty, pretty easily. So check it out. Here's the fitting one of them not really damaged or anything but I might as well put a new one in there and then I just have to do the other one that comes to the to the compressor And here's the second one. Alright, so I got that second fitting off. This is the one that goes to the compressor. So let's head to the hose assembly place and get that hose redone and see if they sell these fittings and put everything back together. Alright, so I'm pulling up to Huffco. Here's where I get most of my hydraulic hoses. And um, fittings. Hopefully they have the fittings I need. But we'll see right now. Hello? Hello? Okay, hold on. All right, so check it out. Here are the fittings. Here's the 90 degree one, which is this one right here. This one was $3.85. And 
and here's the other one that was a dollar and 36 cents and the hose was 28 dollars and 38 cents and here it is so let's get back to the yard and put this thing back on now these wipes there was a guy that said um since i didn't wear gloves on that video using chains and stuff that my truck was probably very dirty and stuff well i try to keep my truck as clean as possible and i always have these right here so before i get on the truck if my hands have grease if they're dirty easily take one of these out clean my hands and then get on the truck so that's how i keep the truck clean and yeah i always keep these here this is the best brand of cleaning wipes that i've bought so i always keep these in my truck and the kenworth and the ram i'm gonna add some thread sealant on it That should be enough. So that should be good should be good right here that's the way it was when i took it off it was facing this tube man it's hot like a motherfucker i need to give me one of those umbrellas just put it on whenever i'm working on the truck okay so i already put some dirt sealing on this one too as y'all can see So now I can go ahead and do the, the other end. All right, that's tight. Okay, that should be good. All right, so this one's connected already too. Just wanna make sure the hose does not rub on anything. All right, so there is the hose. It's not touching here, so that's good. And then it runs up this way. And there is a line here, but it's not touching it either. So that's good. Alright, I'm going to turn the truck on now and let's hope everything is good over there. My radio stopped working out of nowhere. I don't know why. But I'm not going to change it until I get the new, uh, the new dash. There's a guy in Mexico that should be bringing me one. 
hopefully if he finds one because everybody is in quarantine over there too so a lot of people aren't working but they sell these dashes the full piece and fiberglass so I want to get that one on the back on the back window right michael you think this is big enough yeah hell yeah what are we gonna do wrap the whole truck right here we got the 3m premium lifetime warranty he already got burned with the stacks <laughs> Dumbass. damn 3m Make one. 
Bastante.